Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to clone your SSD from another mining rig to another mining rig. So in fact you will have two mining rigs running on the same system but this means you can build really large farms in no time. Okay, so today we're going to be using a Dravo 120GB SSD. So this one is pretty new and it's really cheap. So this is the one I'm going to be using for all of my future mining rigs. Okay, so what we're going to do is clone the SSD of this benchmark rig to the SSD that's going to be for the new mining rig. So I'm going to grab these two cards and put them onto the new mining rig. And after that, we have a cloned SSD that should have everything it needs, the mining software, the mining drivers and whatsoever onto our new mining rig within minutes. Okay, so the ID is for the same as this benchmark rig. When you turn the new miner on, we will need to see that it's gonna run Windows, it's gonna start up the mining software from Claymore by itself, that it's gonna overclock the cards by itself, and that it should have installed the drivers by itself. But we'll have to try that out to see if it's really gonna do that when we're cloning this SSD. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step was to connect the second SSD onto our benchmark rig and it's, it's pretty tough to do because this GPU was in the way so I had to remove the GPU in order to hook up the SSD onto this rig. And also don't forget to connect the SATA cable like I did. Okay, so the next step is to turn on your mining rig and you will have two SSDs on your system right now, but the second SSD will not always be recognized from the first startup you do because it needs to do some installing onto your system and after that you can restart it and hopefully it's gonna appear then in your device manager. Under storage, you will need to see two cards for example, Kingston SSD and Kingston SSD, or a Dravo SSD and a Kingston SSD to make it easy. So that's the next step you need to do, and you will need two SSDs installed on your system to get on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is to go to your disk manager, and you will see that there's going to be an initialized disk appearing box. But you need to just click OK and just go down. You will see that there's going to be a new drive going to be called unallocated and just click in new simple volume keep on clicking next you can give your new drive a letter and I was gonna call it B for buried one and then just keep on clicking next 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 until it's gonna finish it up and make a new SSD out of your SSD okay so in the next step you will need easy ways to do backup application you can download it free in the description below and after that you've opened it you will need to go to clone you need to select the entire hard disk you want to copy with all the partitions completed with it to the new SSD. So it will have all the files and all the partitions that the previous SSD had. And then it will start copying your files and to be honest 80 gigabytes of files didn't took really long from SSD to SSD because these drives have speeds of up to 500 megabytes per second. So it only took us about 5 minutes to copy these both drives and that was really quickly. Okay, so after five minutes of copying the brain from another mining rig, we can plug out this SSD and put it into our new mining rig and see what it does.
finally our mining rig was done and we can turn it on. But of course, we forgot about one thing. We needed to get past this please install the power supply 4 pin power connector, please press N to continue. So we need a keyboard. Okay, so after grabbing our keyboard, it continued on to Windows and it was getting the devices ready. This took us for like 10 minutes to get all the devices ready, but of course it's installing the drivers of our cards, of our motherboard, of our USB drives and whatsoever, because it's the first time this machine is having new brains. It's like, hey man, I got new arms and legs, I need to install them onto my system. So it really took a while to get this step over, but it wasn't a big deal. Okay, so there's one more final step to do. There was some sort of problem during the cloning, I guess, because it didn't give you the mining drivers with it. So the cards were not recognized by Claymore Miner because there were no mining drivers on the system. But maybe the problem wasn't the mining drivers, but just the DAG patcher. I'm not really sure what the problem was because I just reinstalled the mining drivers and I, I noticed that they were already installed onto the device. So maybe if you just run the Atigam DAG patcher inside the files over there, you can already start running your mining drivers and start mining because I just reinstalled them for making sure there was no problem because I added the RX 570 but of course maybe you can try it out and maybe that's gonna work because I will do that for the next mining rig and I'm gonna try to do the fastest quick setup I've ever done for a YouTube video. So that was the only thing that was happened to this mining rig but after installation it just started mining after startup and it was ready to go so it had an overclock settings on every single card and it was just going the same way as it was doing on my benchmark rig and it just thought it was the same computer but now he was just in a new code so it really works and it was a really quick setup of course there are many other ways like simple mining or SOS on your system with SSDs already loaded on with this OS but of course this was a Windows farm let's say that you can build with this simple way so you can just clone your ssds from your mining rigs and start up another one so hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one